Hi, and welcome to this week's look at what's making headlines in natural health on iHealthTube.com. Omega-3 supplements have become more and more popular in recent years because of their potential health benefits, but the source of those omega-3s is now getting a closer look. A study out of Canada looked at marine-derived omega-3s versus plant-based forms and the cancer-fighting potency of each. There are three types of omega-3 fatty acids, abbreviated, they are ALA, which is plant-based, and EPA and DHA, which are found in marine life, like fish and algae. The study involved feeding the different forms of omega-3s to mice with a highly aggressive form of human breast cancer. The results showed the marine-based omega-3s reduced the size of the tumors by 60 to 70 percent and the number of tumors by 30 percent. Higher doses of plant-based omega-3s were needed to get those similar results. The next step for the researchers is to look at the effects of omega-3s on other forms of cancer. Well, the connection between sugar and cancer has long been known, but can removing sugar slow or stop the cancer? Well, according to new research out of Austria, it doesn't seem to be that simple. It looks like sugar depletion only slowed the rate of cancer progression. However, the study did find another role that sugar plays. Its deprivation triggered a change in voltage across the cancer cell membrane, which would lead to calcium ions flowing into the cell and eventually causing cell death. Now the research team is looking at a combination of reducing sugar intake and increasing calcium levels as a therapy. Early signs showed the combination managed to kill cancer cells while leaving healthy ones intact. The result is giving hope that eventually this combination could be a new form of treatment, at least for certain cancers. Finally, a new study is showing that the importance of getting a little bit of exercise each day can have a dramatic effect on your overall health. A study out of Sweden showed that replacing just a half hour of being sedentary each day with low intensity activity like walking or even household chores can reduce the risk of fatal cardiovascular disease by as much as 24 percent. In an earlier study, the group found that people who sit still for more than 10 hours a day have a two and a half times greater risk of early death than those who sit for less than six and a half hours each day. That's what's making headlines in natural health this week. Make sure to go to iHealthTube.com and sign up for our free email newsletter to stay connected to the latest in natural health.